Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. I thought today I would show you this really unique gift card holder that is from one of our crumb cake envelopes. So I was doing some research for my stamp club last week and I came across this on Song of My Heart Stampers and I thought, fabulous. This is so quick and so easy, but one of those nice projects to have in your back pocket whenever you need a really quick gift for somebody. It kind of is a card and a gift card holder all in one. So it is one of our envelopes just folded in half and there's a little tag in here. Now you could attach your gift card right to the tag. Um, you can sign your sentiment on it, um, glue dot a little gift card right on there and it will slide right in. So let me show you how I created that. We're going to use a crumb cake envelope without sealing it. You want to just fold it right in half and make sure your crisp is, or your crease is nice and crisp. It's very hard to say so early on a Monday morning. And then you're gonna open the flap back up and on the fold that you just made, you're going to cut straight down to the fold of the flap. Now one side, you're going to tuck inside the envelope and this is where your um, tag will slide right in there. Okay, so it is Monday morning and I clearly do not have my glasses on. I'm having a heck of a time. My fingers don't wanna work. I can't see. This is awesome way to start a video. Okay, so do as I say, not as I do. So fold that little flap right down in there and then this one is going to be licked and sealed. And that one is just going to come down right across here. Now, you wanna make sure you know which is your front. Okay, so I have this as the front of my card and when I would open it up there would be the little pocket for my my gift card so I'm going to stamp on the front and I'm using our birthday blooms stamp set this is from our occasions catalog and our archival basic black ink so I just want to make sure that I get that nice and dark because our envelope paper is not really like our Whisper White or Vanilla, which is an ultra smooth finish. It's a, a little bit more of a roughed up paper. And so you wanna make sure that you have uh, a lot of ink on your stamp so that it comes out nice and detailed. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do, I believe, is take a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock. This is, I think, four and a quarter by two. And I'm going to use our Ornate Tag Topper Punch just to make a cute little decorative top on there. And then I'm going to stamp the flower from that same stamp set. On here now if you're attaching your gift card on there you clearly wouldn't need to stamp that but I am going to um, use mine maybe for a little a little note or just to have some some decoration on there so um, I went ahead I did go ahead and pre punch out my for you that I stamped in the black ink on a whisper white scrap and then I used our one and three quarter by seven eighth oval punch and punched that guy out of there and I also used whoops our scallop oval punch and did a scallop out of our beautiful blushing blushing bride glimmer paper now the glimmer paper doesn't really like our snail adhesive. Those two are like oil and water. They really don't mix. So I am gonna pull in the fast fuse to attach that. Um, it'll stick for a little bit, but then it's kind of done and you'll, you'll notice that it'll start to fall apart. So fast fuse is a little bit of a stronger adhesive and uh, I do like that when I'm working with the glimmer paper. 
You could use the tear and tape. Um, you could probably use the Tombow multi-purpose glue, but that fast fuse works pretty quick and painless. So the next step I have is a piece of designer paper from our Love Blooms paper stack in the Occasions catalog. And this one measures four by two and a half. And I'm just going to stamp my happiest birthday right on that paper. Okay, now I'm done with my ink pad, so let's scoot everything out of the way. And a little bit of snail would work fine on this. This piece is going to be covering the flap that we glued down on the inside of our gift card holder. So that'll go right there. And then this guy is going to go onto the front of our gift card holder with some dimensionals or in my stamp studio we tend to call them pop dots pull those guys off there and that's just going to go right on the front actually i'm going to slide it over here because my flower is a little bit off center from my sample that I did. Now my final step here is I'm going to come in with some of our Chevron Naturals ribbon. I'm going to cut a nice point here so I can thread it through the hole on my tag. I'm going to slide this little guy through here and this would just work as the pull tab to um, for my tag. So I have that there, and then I have some of our linen thread, just a little piece of that, and I'm just gonna tie a knot here uh, to pinch that together so it doesn't come out of our, the little tag top there. Oh my gosh, seriously, without my glasses, you guys, I feel like I'm so blind. Okay, so um, trim that down a little bit. Same with the top here. I think I'm gonna just do a little diagonal trim there. Oops. Okay, so there's my tag ready to go. That's just gonna slide right down in here. And then my final step is I'm going to take, this should be fun because <laughs> it's I'm blind, um, our white gel pen. And I'm just going to color in, holy crap. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm admitting I need bifocals. It's a true story. Um, I just really am avoiding it. So I went to the eye doctor and he told me I really don't have a vision problem. I have a birthday problem. And I guess apparently when you turn 40 and 40 plus, your vision starts to change. And so my birthday problem turned into the fact that I need the B word and I've just been avoiding it. So hopefully that looks good. I don't even know. So there you go. Just a little bit of white gel dot or white uh, gel pen dots to pull in the center of that um, flower. So that is so simple. Now the gel pen takes a little bit of time to dry. So I would um, do that final and then just give it a couple seconds to just adhere on to that um, <clears throat> adhere onto your envelope so that it doesn't smear on you. So that is it for a quick and easy gift card holder. And I hope you guys will join me next week for Movie Monday.